can one 3D artist outperform two game developers in modeling a prototype level in 90 minutes? Let's show you what we got up to. The theme is castle. Three, two, one, go. Grant, where's your cube? Yeah, I'm, I'm starting with the floor. Okay, like a proper cube. level designer does a sketch. That is beautiful. That's what I'm gonna build. Really... Grant's literally halfway done already. <laughs> I didn't realize Unreal has all these cool modeling tools in here. You go click and then you can like extrude. So extrude for dummies, that's me. This is actually my top down level design. Here, run along here, oh, jump over here. It, yeah, it's a quality idea, isn't it? Then I'm gonna give it different heights because Good levels have different heights, I think. When you start modeling, you start with planes? I don't know why, but it's just uh, I didn't how think I like they to... had planes back in Castle. Aren't we doing castles? Magic will come if you stick with me for just a second. Uh... Just before we started, you gave us some barbarians. So these are going to be the placeholder pretend enemies. I'm quite impressed with whoever modeled those. That's, that's mm. really uh, quite uh, decent, who, who was it who modeled those, like, Grant? Uh, they, they, they kind of look a bit like me, fame, right? YouTube <laughs> sensation. As a thanks for watching, we're giving away this barbarian character for free check out the details in the description below this is quite cool actually I, I figured this out earlier I thought what's a quick way I can make some rocks shift a to add mesh and then icosphere then you make sure it's got one subdivision you scale it in the Z to make it a bit bigger actually that's a bit too much I'm, I'm panicking now because people are watching grab a vertices and then a vertices a vertex control shift B and then drag them into each other like this and create some interesting looking rocks I'm trying to make a gatehouse looking thing, so I basically take my wall and make a hole in it. Hey Laurie, I'm making a rock. Are you subdivide? That's really good, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, can you actually run inside that tower in your game? No. Can you run inside your towers? No. Hey Grant, do you want to model the inside of my towers? Sorry, I'm not your friend anymore. I'm your enemy now. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I'm starting to panic, actually. I've, I've done too many rocks. 58 rocks. <laughs> That's a lot of rocks. I could have done this with a particle system as well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're not using particle systems, are we? Isn't that against the rules of only modeling tools? So How is particle systems not a modeling tool? I think it's in its name. It's so Gary's doing a lot of detail on his, and Grant is doing a lot of rocks. He's doing landscape <laughs> is what he's working on, to be fair. He's doing landscaping. Each of these is an instance of the other. So if I go into this one tower, highlight a certain bit, and then say drop down a little bit by putting the pushing the Q key and complete. Blunk every one of these other ones Ooh. will update as well. So you know what? I'll try, Laurie, just to win your affection. I'll see if I can do a bevel. You can basically draw any shape you like, which is rather fetching. Uh, give it some depth, uh, and then you can just grab it, move it, scale it, twist it. You clearly have more skill than I do in this, Gary. Grant has moved on from rocks. So if I go to vertices, shift S, cursor to selected, and then choose my 3D cursor as the pivot point, then I can scale them inwards. Ooh. There are proper, proper grown-up modeling tools here in Unreal. Look at that, and then there's a little bit of detail that you're never gonna see. Hmm. I've made a house. <laughs> Is that where Beautiful the dog house. sleeps? I legitimately don't know what my keep is gonna look like, so for now, it's gonna look like that. I think that in my level, I'd like to have some trees, maybe a forest. A tree? I, I need some nature involved in it. And so can we I'm... import them? Nope. You're harsh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is it a rocket launcher of some sort? A spaceship? Hey, oi. Oi. It's a castle. <laughs> oh, no, I just realized all my walls are backwards. I know how to do it in Unity. I'll stop talking about Unreal. Unreal is amazing. I'm just useless. I said I was going to cheat off Grant, but I haven't actually looked at him once yet. He's quite <laughs> handsome, Gary. You should look at him often. Oof, no. <laughs> oh, you know, I know, I know. Here we go. That's a tree. Oh, there's an extrusion option. Look at that. The spin tool. I, I'm trying to remember how to use it. Have you tried Control alt spin That might work, Grant. There. It is working. The fact that before we started, you said, I love Blender and I'm going to do anything I can to make sure Grant wins. That for me was a little bit of a red flag. People are going to live in the trees. It's going to be fine. I have decided that I would like some sort of water around my castle or near my castle. I'm going to do a river. Rivers are mm. far more skillful and interesting than moats are like really boring. Anyone who does a moat, it's like, you know, uninspired. <laughs> Is anyone just doing a moat or is that a wasted insult? Oh, now everything's green. Not exactly what I intended to do, but... <laughs> right, I think I've got a drawbridge. 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 A drawbridge. Drawbridge. Wow, Unity made a really good drawbridge. Do you think you guys can make a drawbridge? I'd like to get that added to the specs of this castle. That sounded like it was optional, Laurie. It is absolutely not <laughs> optional, Rick. 
What about mountains, Laurie? Do we also need to have mountains? I think that might be a good thing to make Gary, I mean, to say that we should have. Yes. Say, what? No. Are we actually having to do mountains? I had a feeling Grant was too into his work to have heard that. You gotta add mountains. You mean you can't get a mountain in your tiny little (laughs) island, Grant? Uh, I'm just struggling to put trees. I've still got to put a drawbridge. Uh, drawbridge. 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 And now there's mountains coming out of the sky. Yeah, good thing you're the <laughs> professional here. You'll be able to do it. Can you judge us based upon just our mountains? I think I'm stronger at mountains than I am at actual modeling. We have some tents for our little village. What I'm doing with the water is I put in a box that I've just stretched out. Look at that. There we go. I'm doing something far more important. Which is? I'm making a chest to hide in my forest so that adventurers can go find some loot. Ooh. The bevel in Pro Builder, not as good as Blender. The bevel in uh, Unreal was pretty good. It made my castle bumps look beveled. I don't know, it looks a little bit phallic, to be honest. What exactly are you trying to say with your castle? My castle's looking amazing. Not gonna lie, didn't entirely think this chest thing through. How's he gonna carry it? Hopefully there's not a lot of gold in it. Oh, That's his house. It's all he can afford in the rental market these days. Yeah. Don't get me started <laughs> on the medieval them. rental market. Ooh. To recap, we're doing a castle prototype and I wanted a mountain and water and a drawbridge. Drawbridge. <laughs> It's like a ramp. You need to do your Dukes of Hazard jump into the castle. That'd be a cool cutscene. Look up a Mott and Bailey castle and they had them all the time. Ramps? Yeah, yeah, they did. It's all about the ramps and the castle bumps, right? Yeah, with the Molten Bailey castles. That's the type of drink. What are you doing to your Irish whiskey? Uh, yeah. right. Oh, you got it first. I was going to say the same yeah. thing. Do you have a look at a lot of these castles? The entryway is tiny. If Amazon turns up with a huge delivery, they're like, you know what? Why did you make the door so low? What are you ordering that's that big, Rick? I ordered a trebuchet. Well, sorry, sir. (laughs) Maybe I'll go make some sort of trade entrance around the back for deliveries. Yeah, I'm going to do that. This is how the rebels can get in. Level design. We're designing our story. That's what I was spending time on the chests for, not because I didn't know what to make my keep look like. You know what? I only just saved for the first time. Oh, my goodness. Because I'm stupid. Everyone hit save. We love you, Unreal. You don't need to crash. So Grant's adding colors. Look at that. Finally. We got some water, <laughs> we got some grey mountains and some green trees. Wait a minute. I'm going to go into my special folder reserved for in case Grant cheated. No. <laughs> no. Take that out. You got to make your own shiny water. It's just the same as his. It's just shiny material. This is the corner tool and I can raise. So Ooh. I don't even have to know how to do proper modeling. I don't have a roof, but I have an entranceway. That's technically a building. Oh, you've got some food trucks. That's cool. Rick, can I ask you, how did you make the door? just get your same tool that I've been using the whole time. You select the cubes and then you just dip, dip, dip. I know this guy and gravity is his favorite theory. We haven't heard from recently is Grant. Grant, what are you doing over here? Rick was going on about like, uh, have to be, get inside your castle or whatever. So all right, okay, we've got to get inside a castle. So yes, I have got a place for eating inside the castle. It's just a big, very square room at the moment. <laughs> I keep going quiet, don't I? Because I'm like, whoa. A bit of blueprinting in here, orangey sort of thing. Then I need to multiply, and then we're going to drag that into emissive color. This wizard box that will have magical powers. I hate to admit it, but these are all looking pretty good. Is that mountainous enough for yes, you, Yes, that is really good. I mean, it's a prototype. It's not supposed to be as perfectly modeled. I just went from EV <laughs> to... Cycles. <laughs> so it's actually- oh, it's not going to look that pretty when you do your flight yeah, through them, is it? It's going to be fine. It's no problem. That's why I'm playtesting. So I just want to make sure the stairs aren't like shin height. Gary's playtesting. Grant is beauty testing. I don't know what Rick's doing. Hey, Laurie, <laughs> do you want a white castle like Grant's or do you want a proper grey castle? <laughs> All the castles have to be bright pink. <laughs> <No>. Just kidding. <laughs> don't forget to use also the barbarians that were provided for you. They're quite good, those barbarians, aren't they? I would like a banner in your castles. Can you please add a banner? Oh, a banner. Let's that's, do it. that's quite cool. I like that. I like that. Ah, this is a disaster. About a second ago, that flag looked ridiculous. What'd you do? Came out of nowhere. Two minutes? Basically, I thought, how would I have a golf flag, like mini putt places? And there we go. That's what I came up with. Solid Did you cam. select the faces and cheat? Yeah. I like I it. Select I approve faces. of that. One minute left. 20 seconds. 10 seconds. No. No, don't. Five. There we go. That'll be. Three, two, one. Time. That's fine. 
Oh, my keep looks terrible. Grant, you seem to be still working on your stuff, my friend. No, that seems no, to be. That's the lag. <laughs> that's the lag. It, just look away. I've got battle at the front. You come through the drawbridge. Drawbridge. Battling, battling, battling. You've got to get to the keep, and then up on the top of the keep, there's these barbarians, and you've got to change the golf flag back to the appropriate flag. <laughs> We're going to encounter some barbarians at the gate, who we can choose to either fight or negotiate with to get into the main city. Negotiate with you the can barbarians. Negotiate you with like, barbarians. Hey, barbarians. Do you like TV? I like TV. What do you reckon? Sneakily behind the trees, we have. We have a nice little barbarian fellow with a treasure chest and we have some barracks for the enemies and things and this will be your main fighting area. Barbarians have taken over the castle and we're recapturing it so we land with our boat here, we run through this way. The haunted forest, you have to watch out for the ghosts but they're asleep at the moment because it's daytime. Run through here, up there, up here and to the drawbridge. Oh. But there's the barbarian you've got to kill on the bridge. Through we go. Loads of barbarians here. This is a bit of a tricky area here. Oh, look at that banner. Well, amazing. <laughs> Through here. and Oh, man, that is some big barbarian there. We're in trouble now in the it's main the keep. See. Oh, we yeah. have a boss. <laughs> the boss nice. Fight. Who do you think created the best prototype for a castle level? Let us know in the comments below. Drawbridge. <laughs>